Hello, welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. If you're new here, my name is Rosie. I'm doing a 30 day challenge to make a Christmas island in just 30 days. And today we are going to, I think be decorating my yard. So I really, can you not? I don't have a ton of ideas. Um, I have a couple things saved on Pinterest that I'm gonna be kind of going off of. Um, one thing I did do, I saw a pin of a pretty yard and I liked the red carpet, I think better than the one I had. So I went and found the design and I switched it. I don't love the like ridges in the middle. I think it's, I don't know if it's just supposed to give it texture. Or, or, <sighs> find something else to do. I don't know if the ridges are just for texture or if it's supposed to look like actual like steps I mean they'd be tiny steps but I don't know but I like the designs on the side a lot more so I switched that out and right now my house is customized to this um, which matches like the houses in the neighborhood and also matches Jay's over here this I put the picture in here that I'm looking at for inspiration I really like the way this house looks so I'm kind of tempted to change my house customization I don't know I, I, this kind of goes I feel like this goes nicely with like the forest and everything behind it this is what we did yesterday if you missed it I think it turned out so cute I did end up going in and putting the path in between and Prometheus, you're really killing me. I don't know what I was saying, but I think this turned out really good. Oh, one thing I do need to do, I need red wrapping paper. So we need to just hope that the store has it today. Ugh, annoying. Well, I'm short on gift piles, so I may just be stealing them from other places on the island today. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and craft some stuff first because I know I need trees and, um, I think I'm gonna want turkey day stands as well. Okay, that took forever, but now I'm ready. <laughs> so I think to start, I'm just going to like recreate this picture basically. And then from there, just kind of adjust what I want to be different. <laughs> I forgot I have to customize everything. Okay, let's see. I think I, think I wanna do birch again, even though that's what I did at the park. But I just think that looks the best with some of these wintry designs. Ooh, maybe I can finally use these. Ah, <gasps> yes. Yes, 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 yes. I got those designs and I just love them because they have purple in it. And how often do you get Christmassy designs with purple? I mean, actually, <laughs> that's not really. There's a whole, all the ornament stuff you can make in purple. But it's purple and black, which I like really don't like that vibe. It's just not for me, you know? Um, This is like a nice purple. <laughs> Okay, been recording for almost 30 minutes and haven't done anything yet. All right, we are ready. Here's the thing. <laughs> I am immediately bothered by this gold. I don't like it. <laughs> and maybe since I did the kind of purpley um, designs, I can get away with purple ornament wreath. It doesn't look great, but I think I... Think I can customize my house. I think it can be different because we're kind of getting away from the me and Jay as elves thing because I'm gonna have this big nice elaborate yard. So I think it's getting more towards like Mrs. Claus territory, you know? I mean, Tim is Santa after all. So, oh, speaking of which, I didn't want to totally redo their houses. So I just made Tim a kind of Christmassy room and blocked off the other rooms. You can still go up to the attic, which is just a junky attic, but just pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> and then Jay, I just left their house pretty much exactly how it was, but I blocked off the rooms and added a Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, seriously, time to get to work. <laughs> In this picture, they have custom pathing under all of this, but I don't really have a great path for that. Could do these, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'd rather, okay, I was gonna try layering blankets, but I don't really have that many blanket codes. The only other good one I have is the like this, but in red and it just matches up like too perfectly. So maybe we'll just go with this. Yeah, I don't know about this. I think I need a little bit more structure. Maybe I'll try the cobblestone path. It's hard for me to tell if I like it. Because <laughs> of course, my immediate reaction is that I don't. I kind of miscalculated with this because I sort of misunderstood what I was looking at um, in this picture. Typical. Okay, that took entirely too long. 
But how does that look? Actually, I really like that, except for the house. But if I can just customize the house to something different, I think I would be really digging it. Let's see, how's that look? Okay. I don't think there's room for another tree over here. I guess I could put one right here. Okay, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> At least as far as big thing goes, I still need to kind of fill in all the little stuff. So let me go ahead and pull out what I have, but I think I'm gonna need to order some stuff and go forward. I don't know what to put right here. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just some hedges would be good. And I guess we could fill this in with cliff and just extend the little gnome city. Okay, so I'll probably order some more um, doll houses, but that's good for now. Okay, let's go pick a customization for my house. I don't know what would look good. Let's just see what's out there. I wish I could have a light purple door, but I already know that's not a thing. <laughs> Actually, wait, I think there is a light purple door. This one. <laughs> that's the only one. I normally wouldn't really be a proponent of like purple and red, but it's just kind of working in that custom design. So I kind of like it. And because the snow covers so much of the roof, I feel like it like works even better. I don't know. Let's just let's see how that works. <laughs> Maybe I should have done a green roof. Oh well. Anything good in here? I put pathing under um, this tier. I definitely think it looks better like that. Okay. So if we do this with my house, actually, you know, I'm, I'm kind of liking this a lot more. I'm excited to see what the house looks like. Um, so what happens here now is the question. What is all this? Oh, you know what would be cute? A little pond, maybe. We don't have any water on this island. Maybe a little pond would be good. And then, um, it can be kind of like an extension, you know, of like this little park. Have some similar, some similar design elements. Hmm, I like that. Let's do it. I should probably design around the water first so that I don't have to undo any waterscaping once I've done it. Um, that would probably be smart, huh? I did some of this over here, like these will be trees that grow in with some hedges and iron and stone fencing. So maybe I can bring some of that in here as well. I don't know, does that look nice? I literally can't tell. Let's look better with three of these. Okay, let's see what kind of furniture options we have. We'll probably have to take stuff to Harv's because I don't think I have anything cohesive happening in here, but let's check it out. Okay, cozy park furniture. Could do these and these. Maybe a rocking chair. Okay, to Harv's. Okay, we got stuff. Let's see, where to start? You know how parks have like little shacks sometimes? <laughs> That sounds so weird, but like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Like sometimes they have like little shelters or, you know, it's kind of what I was going for with that. And it's like, I, I really like that light blue color. So I thought it'd be good to use that, but um, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like it's working. I could use these for blankets in this little park so that it kind of ties into my yard. It's not a terrible idea. I think maybe, I don't really, like I didn't really get furniture in any colors that I really like. So I think I might just do like cushions and zen cushions. Oh yeah, my house got um, changed. I think that's kind of cute. Kind of like the purple door, even with all the red. Hmm. I got distracted as you can see. Delightful peppermint beer. <laughs> Okay, what kind of flower for this area? Let's go ahead and do the water while I think on that. Okay, so for fencing, let's revisit that. Okay, I have 
have a bunch of hyacinths in my pocket, but I think I kind of want windflowers again. I just, I kind of think I like them the best. But I only have white ones. Well, let's go ahead and plant them, or plant some. Okay, I don't think it really looks like much before everything's grown in, but I'm hoping that changes <laughs> when everything does grow in. Oh yeah, I wanted to get a couple more, I wanted to get a couple more food items. Um, I guess that's fine. I think until I'm done designing the island, I'm gonna put a pipe by Nook's Cranny because it is just not convenient to get there. <laughs> Ooh, Eric probably wants to move, which means if I keep going forward, I can hopefully somebody else to ask to move. Okay, I need wind flowers and red wrapping paper. Pink, that's not what I need. I actually think the flowers are the same weekly, so maybe I'll have to go forward sooner. Okay, this is gonna be good enough for me. So this is how the yard turned out. I switched out the fireplaces because I wanted them to kind of match the plant partitions that I put out front. And the flowers aren't fully grown in here, but I can't wait. I've been recording for three hours and this is probably gonna end up just being like a 10 minute video. So, you know, <laughs> I gotta just keep it moving. Actually, I kinda wanna stunt that tree over there on the left. I kinda like the way that looks. BRB. <laughs> Okay, and then this is the little park, which I think looks pretty cute. I'm glad we got a little bit of waterscaping in there. And I'll check in again when the trees are full grown, just so you can get the final look. But that's going to do it for today. So this has been day 22 of Vlogmas, which means there are 21 other episodes up now if you've missed any. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. And if you want to keep up with me elsewhere on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Pocket of Fish. And I'll see you tomorrow.